special guests, Michael Sigala and David Carbohal. Now, David, I hear your a new book, Signs of Life, is coming out. Your new book. It's a, it's about poetry and, and stuff. You know. Um, you care to share about it? I do not. Why? I specifically spoke with your costume designer uh, prior to my arrival, and I, I let her know kindly that I was going to be in a turtleneck sweater today. It's very poetic. Um, okay. But here you are okay. in the same outfit. Well, hold on. I brought this pirate hat to, uh, to distinguish myself from you so that we, we don't... No, 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 no. I brought a pirate hat. Okay, so what, what are we going to do here? What, what's, what do you want me to do? Hold <clears> on. <throat> hold on. Sailor! Sailor, come here! Dude, I, I wasn't told of this. Can you come, to, come, to, come around from the middle? It's not ridiculous. Did you okay. talk to David? <clears throat> Sailor, can you... did David tell you that he was going to wear a turtleneck? He actually did. Um, and we went over this in the back earlier. Well, did you didn't tell me this. No, we had a whole conversation about this. Well, I'm probably, was, I, was I high? No, I'm a deal. What? We went over this and you refused. You said you want to match him because you told me to wear a turtleneck too. Yeah, see, you were like trying to get everyone to go along. With what it. the heck? So um. Okay, I've had. You can go. Sorry. All right, all right. That was a costume designer. Um. Okay. Well, obviously, I think you should be the bigger man and take that off. Wow. Really? Yeah. I am not gonna do that. You're awful, Murray. All right. Stop. I'm gonna tickle you until you take off the. I'm a day of stopping. No, no. Uh, all right, all right. Enough. I'll take it off. I'll what about take you? Take it off. The hat stays on. Fair enough. All right, we'll get right back to you after we show their performance. Out. This is East of Eden. I'm East of Eden, James Dean in the rain, a crashing wave on the shore. Who am I in the movie in your mind? bolt of lightning in the Bible black sky. I don't want nothing. I thrive on nothingness. I'm hanging around like midnight. How can I keep searching when there's nothing to be found? Find me at the Starlight Theater. I'm lost in imagination. Brando personified sin on the silver screen. The deer dead departed. The Judas Goat. The stories I could tell you about El Milagro Taqueria. The conversations at sundown. The lovely senorita. It's best I pick up my chips and find another game. Two strangers exchanging glances, a coffee cup serenade. Lucid dreaming or am I awake? We hit the road like friction. I was quick to slam on the brake. We've been traveling for a Minnesota mile. Stop pestering me for heaven's sake. Two pirates in a bungalow by the sea, playing on a chessboard they've owned since elementary. My mind has birthed a new illusion, trapped in a starry night, tangled in delusion. Who can lift this veil, the veil of confusion? My friend took a train from Venice Beach to San Antonio. A strange man in a boxcar writing, writing screenplays alone. He was born present day, but his soul belongs where there was wires on telephone. I've been driving on this highway for three stinking hours. The grass is growing under my feet. It's beat poetry, it's the beat that keeps. It's best I get out of Dodge.
I'm David Michael Carvajal, and this is Michael Sigala. Thank you very much. Okay, so we have this book. It's called Signs of Life, and you wrote it. And it yes. How many pages is it? So that's the transcript. This is the whole transcript. It's the first. And, and it's not even copy. the. Uh, it's the only copy. You don't even have a transcript. What? It's not the what? official one either. There's probably about 20 more pages that aren't on that. Are you keeping the secrets from me? They're not secrets. This wasn't prepared. Yeah, Michael. Uh, so you're a musician. You play. You play guitar. How long have you been playing guitar for? Um, 30 minutes. That's perfect. 30 yeah. minutes. You, you, yes. you do it so good. Yeah, just you know, see it, I do it. Yeah, I like your bear shirt, by the way. Thank you. So yeah, uh, dude, can we get a clap? On the bear shirt. Very nice. Everybody. Give it up for the thank bear you, shirt. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I also uh, also have a new movie coming out with uh, a good friend of yours, Seth Magania. It's called Bye Bye Miss American Pie. It was shot in all black and white. We shot it in just out the outskirts of Houston. Good for you. It's a good film. Good for you. It's a good film. Uh -huh. Roll tape. And we're back. Whoa. <laughs> that was a great, that was that was a great, great clip. Magania is a great director. Sure. Sure he is. I met, I met him once. I've never met him. You never met him. You want to on That's a term, man. <laughs> I met him through Amadeo. But yeah, so Signs of Life is coming out um, in March. Signs of Life is coming out in March. Yeah, yeah, my, Signs of Life. Let's go to that. In my umbre from my umbrella publishing company, Defiant Publishing, and the book is part true, part fiction. It's a contradiction. Yeah. And when he told me to come on the show, I thought it would be a great idea to do some performances, and then I've been best friends with Michael since high school. So, yes, sir. wait, so you're from Castroville too? I'm not from Castroville, I'm from San Antonio, but the district that I grew up around got cut off into that same district. The bus. We were yeah. on the bus. I was um, on the bus. I was fairly new still, but. I was new. Uh, not as new as he was. Uh, I was talking to some friends and he just butted into conversation, you know? And. At to, first, no, like, to make it correct, Michael was kind of like, hey, you look like a super cool guy. Can not you at be all. be my friend? And I was like, not at all. Oh. Yeah, I'm a cool guy. I am a cool guy. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I hated him so much. I am a cool guy. Grew on me. Um, <laughs> and from there, it was just, you know. Are you having fun there? The show's lost in space. Oh, uh, OK. So how long, uh, what got you into filmmaking? Because I know. You've been doing it, yeah. Since I was a, like, since childbirth. Yeah, yeah, no, so have I. Like since childbirth. Yeah, like what got me yeah. into it? Yeah, no, that's like what, that's why we, we we got along. We had a conversation over Waterburger about this. Yes, we have. Yeah. Um, to really think about it, what got me into it was I didn't like the idea of sitting in an audition room, hoping the casting director would like me. Thank you very much. Yeah. But I'm gonna pass this to Michael. Um, I didn't like the idea of being in a waiting room when I knew what I had, you know, I know what I, I know what I could do and I respect what other people can do, but I was like, I, I want to make my stories. I want to make them with my friends and I want to have a good time doing it. Yeah. Yeah. You, you do. You do. So I hear you do a lot of action films. I do. Uh, Long Lonesome Glow. Long Lonesome uh, Glow, our bank heist thriller. Motel Chronicles. Motel Chronicles, our, our uh, exotic, not exotic, experimental film. romance. The upcoming film. I'm sure you forgot about this film already, River Steves. River Steves. I did not forget about River Steves. It's another heist film. And then Beat Patrol, coming soon with Aaron Ramos and I. Yeah, yeah. Action tends to follow me everywhere I go. It's what I do. You know, I'm an action. Whoa, Michael, whoa, watch out. whoa. Whoa. I'm going to do what the, I'm going to do what the fuck. So, so, so today is Valentine's Day, and they're doing some events here at my university. And I'm here to ask them what, what, what's going on and stuff, you know? So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's do this. Amadeo on the street. No, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. No, you. What's up? What's up? How's it going? How are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing? Doing good? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Are you my mom? I could be. Yeah, you could be? Yeah. Do you want a cigarette? No, I don't smoke. Oh, well, it's okay, man. I, I just wanted to know if you wanted some cancer. Mm, no, I'm okay. There you have it. Yeah. This guy doesn't believe in women. You know, it's a funny joke. <laughs> you know you know how, like, during, like, Mother's Day or Valentine's Day, your mom's always like, 
Hey, where, so where are you going to take me out? You, you know how you could respond with that? I, I don't know. There's food at home. Exactly. I was just going to say that, too. There's food at home. <laughs> I mean, it's true. I mean, she tells us all th that all the time, right? Also here is uh, uh, Lady Picosa. I think it's right. Yeah, yeah, Lady Picosa. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a taco place and a, and a, and a burger place. Ooh, it keeps dropping it. Do you have a light? No, I don't, I don't got a light. You don't have a light? Okay. Jessica, do you have a light? What's your name? So my name is Furman. Furman? Yeah. Furman, I want to ask you something. <laughs> Believe in God. <laughs> Thank you. You want a cigarette? You want a cigarette? Okay, cool. If you're a student wondering where your money is going, well, look none other than this table full of flowers and Cheetos. So, so what's going on here? <laughs> um, we're getting the opportunity to like freeze um, carnations with like nitrogen and to smash it because it sounds like it sounds like glass when you smash on the floor. Could I try that? You have a dollar. I, ha I think I have a dollar. Hold this for a minute. Hold this mic. All right. Here's your flower. Okay, so we, what are we dipping it in? Oh my god. Liquid nitrogen. Liquid nitrogen? Yes. Yes. That's fun. Very. Oh my god. Don't stop It touched my hand. Should I be worried? A little bit. This is, uh. Love hurts. <laughs> Love hurts. Jesus, that's something like glass. You see, I, 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 I didn't know who this was. I thought this was a missing persons picture, but uh, it's apparently the, the, uh, the artist which we're about to interview right now. So, I'm gonna put, put this back that down. Cool. I can play piano. Uh, I technically can play mandolin, but it's been a few years. I can play bass, I can play ukulele. Yeah. Are they paying you? Yes. That's fun. I'm not going to ask how much because that's, that's an inappropriate question. Right. But just, you know, off the record. This is on the record. So how are you going to be spending your Valentine's Day? I'm here right now, and then I'm going to be on a plane. Oh, where are you going? Back to L.A. where I live. I traveled all the way from L.A. to San Antonio to play a show for you guys on Valentine's Day. Ah. You really are playing our hard strings. Hold you. So, I don't have a Valentine's this year, but I did find somebody on Tinder, and it's, it's, she's beautiful. Don't you think? Yeah? 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 We're together. Yeah. In conclusion, Valentine's Day is Valentine's Day. This is sun setting. I can't escape you. The damage has been done. There's smoke in my lungs. Elation in my blood. It's a spiritual rush. I thought I was strong. But I could never be away for too long. Turn a blind eye to my conviction Reason with my mind why I'm in this position It's been a dark days A romance and rage These tombstone eyes have got me dancing in the haze I'm staring down the setting sun Falling prey to this addiction Point blank the barrel of a gun Can't you see I live in contradiction?
Welcome back, everybody. We're back with our guest. This is a very uh, experimental David. talk show. So, uh, going back to it, <laughs> um, where'd you get your pirate hat? Um, this pirate hat I stole from a homeless person. What are those teeth that like actors get? Chatter teeth. Cheddar teeth? Cheddar teeth? Cheddar? Chatter? Chatter? No cheese involved. You're talking to one of the ones that go... No, 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 like the fake teeth they get. Oh, dentures? Old people get those. Veneers? And, uh, veneers. veneers. I think it's called veneers. Veneers. Yeah, veneers. I'm thinking of getting some. I'm thinking of widening my teeth. <laughs> some veneers? Those are really expensive, huh? They, yeah, I don't know, man. Expensive. I'd love to whiten my teeth. Yeah. Just drink a lot of coffee. It's a good thing to step your teeth game up. Teeth game has got to be up for an actor. I just, yeah. I just get a tan instead. I like you a lot better than Amadeo. Thank you. I like you a lot. Are you talking about me? I'm gonna just take over as co-host, and. Oh, welcome to the so, Lakeview Film Show. You know, Dan Michael Segala. Well, great thing about Michael Segala is he, he's a he's a phenomenal guitar player, but he's also an up and coming stand up comedian. <laughs> he's an up and coming yeah. stand up comedian and he's got this great bit and I would I would love you to share it. It's the one that you shared with me over at Chipotle. And here he is, drum roll please. Drummers in the back. Drummers in the back. Dan, Dan, do you have any musical abilities whatsoever? Uh no. Okay. I mean I I pretend I know how to play the harmonica. Dude, you're on fire. <laughs> yeah. So Signs of Life <laughs> is part true. It's part fiction. I, I, I can tell that you um, definitely did some stuff out from your personal life. Just like, uh, just like Aaron Ramos. Is Aaron Ramos in there somewhere? In the book? Yeah. No, this book is part true, part fiction. Can I be in it? There's characters. There's scenarios Where that are in the go? book. You go to Amazon to get the book, but the book won't be out till March. And uh, you get my other two books. I got South 2690 and Dark Days on Amazon. You can also watch my film Long Lonesome Go on Amazon, um, and that's our bank heist film, and if you want to dig deep into the depths of my uh, illustrious film career, you can find Stone Cold Justice on YouTube, and have Great a good show. time watching that. Great show. It's actually got 12,000 hits <clears throat> in, the domest in the domestic, in the Dominican Republic. Dominican Republic. I'm not lying, for some reason, the shout Dominicans DR. love it. DR, shout out. There's some sugar man. Shout out to the Corona. Nice. Nice. Cool. You are very pretty. Speaking of pretty, um, during the winter break, also directed a skit called Monica, which Amadeo Rivas was a part of. And I'm going to edit it. And he'll be editing. Nobody else is going to do it. Because uh, Michelangelo would never do it. Uh, the artist? The Angelo. The, 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 the oh, cinematographer. Oh, Michelangelo. That's his name, Michelangelo. Oh. Um, I mean, the University of Incarnate Word has a very, has a very well-programmed talk show. I'll let him know about my experience here. Don't. Please don't. I'll let Listen. him know. It's very organized, very structured. Um, no knife fights. No knife fights. No turtleneck mishaps. No pirate hat mishaps. Uh, no pirate hat <clears throat> mishaps. Um, it's called uh, It's called Viewing of the Ocean. Lake View. Viewing of the Ocean. Body of Water View. Body of Water. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so Michael Segal is a comedian. And he told me this really funny bit, and I really think you should share it. Say the bit. 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 Just watch out for the hecklers. Yeah. Hey. Hey, shut up! Hey, hey, shut up. Shut up. Loser! Shut up. Um. Well, you know, I I had a um, vision. More like a dream, maybe. <laughs> Was this your dream? That is my dream, actually. You wow. know, I'm kind of pissed now. I really wanted to hear this bit. I want to hear this bit, too. Yeah, keep going, keep going. Well, you know, when David said that, he was lying. But I'll give you something. Now, it's not thought out. I haven't written anything. But I have had sort of a, an idea <laughs> that, um, you know... You see movies, scary movies all the time. You see all the scary things that happen in their house specifically. What about the neighbors, you know, like <laughs> Yeah. What happens there? What do you what do you think that they're thinking, you know? Like what's when's the movie gonna come out where some guy's just like 
sweetie, what the hell's going on out there? <laughs> you know, why, why are there lights going on and off? It's crazy. And then another night, you know, they're having a movie night, popcorn's <laughs> making, and the wife's just out there like, baby, the dog's floating. <laughs> And so, you know, and that's it, yeah, there you go. <laughs> so somebody broke into my house the other day, and Sucks. they stole my mood ring. I don't know how to feel about it. <laughs> that's that that quirky. That's quirky. Like it's a dad that. I think joke. This, is, uh, this is over. I, I... This interview ended a long time ago. <laughs> this, this interview is... How many minutes are we Do you in? have anything you want to say about your books? We're 30 right. minutes in. What do you, okay. That's cool with me. Where do you want to send the people? We gotta make the it audience. Where to send the people? Where do you so, want them to go for anything? Okay, well, what inspired it? What inspired the book? What inspired the book? Uh, poets like Jack Kerouac, uh, Charles Bukowski. Oh, like Jack Kerouac, On the Road and stuff? On, like the, road, on the Road, Mexico City road, Blues. Yeah. No, no, no. Um, close, but no. Uh, poets like Jack Kerouac, Charles Bukowski, um, Allen Ginsberg, and read lot, don't you? I read a lot. I love to read. I love to read. You know, so. No, fifth I think reading's a uh, yeah, fifth grade. <laughs> you like I read at a fifth grade level. Um, he still follows the words with his finger. I do. I read at a 4.0. I don't read at all. The poetry and the stories are in just are just inspired by events. Uh, maybe n not inspired by anything. It just comes from the dust. And just like the movies, the movies just come from the dust. And I'm lucky enough to have platforms to get to put them on with my publishing company, Defiant Publishing, where you can find that I started. I started two companies. I started Defiant Motion Pictures because I own none of my movies until until last August. Now I own all of my movies. Well, who owned it before then? Nobody. I was just making them under random production companies. And I saw, you know, people were liking them. People were digging the stories. And I was realizing, hey, none of these are under my name. So I opened up my own production company, Defiant Motion Pictures. And then I wrote my first book, where you can find it on Amazon, South 2690. And then my second book, Dark Days. And then I realized I need a publishing company. Yeah. So I opened up uh, Defiant Publishing. And now I've got two companies. And it's where you can go to Amazon to find pretty much all my material now. You can find it on, on, on Instagram. Instagram, at Defiant Publishing. Um, yeah, you got some good... What's with this micro short that you wanted to shoot with me earlier? I already shot it. I already shot a micro short. Signs of Life. It's on Instagram. Oh, okay. And actually, you know, I just won. Myself and a great filmmaker, Gabriel. His name's Skyline Drone on Instagram. Yeah, I've been waiting to work with that guy. He and I, was like, he and I messaged each other. I was like, yeah, we got to work together soon. Well, like, check this out. So in July, I gave, well, we met, it, we met a long time ago. And I gave him South 2690. And he really dug one of the poems. And he's like, hey, let's make a short. And I was like, all right. So in July, we met up. We shot a, we shot a micro short, Run, Darling, Run. On South 2690, it was it's it's myself Daniela Vidaure and himself, and it just rec it just recently won best film at the Wimberley Film Festival. It's all right, it's all right. I'm are, you, are you gonna go to Are you gonna go to the Wimberley Film Festival? It already happened. Oh, it already happened. He he Stop got the. Uh, my cigarettes. It already happened, and he won. Uh, he took home he took home best film. <laughs> so. Did he get money out of it? No money. Oh, no money. You know, but it's my first. It's my first film lore. You, you, floral. You know what I want. <laughs> you know what I want. What? I want my money from from Alamo City Studios. They owe me money. You know, there's some companies who owe me money, but I'll I'll tell you which companies owe me money, off the record. All right. Do I go eat afterwards? I cannot. I got to okay. go to the gym. All right. I gotta go to the gym. I do. Um, so I'm a day. Edwin McQuiston. Can I plug this into the show before we go? Sure. Do, do all the plugs you want. Michael, all the plugs you want. Plugs you do? Um, anything that's any events. I'll let Michael go first. Any events that are coming up that people can know about. Any, any events. events. Uh, uh, San Antonio Stock, Stock Show and Rodeo is out right now. <laughs> um, go see them. They're great. Um, that's really it, you know. And that's it for the Lakeview Film Show. I almost call it Lakefront. Uh, anything to say before you know you can... Come on, hurry up, hurry up. Not you. No, 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 keep going. All right, what do you have to say? Uh, thank you guys for having us. Thank you, Our Lady of the Lake University, for providing this platform for yeah, yeah, artists. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh,